Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and welcome to a very special episode of Ash Answers. Today I've got Shimon, uh, product manager OnePlus, with me to answer all your questions about OnePlus. So you've been tweeting a lot of questions about it. We've picked some of the most common ones. And there's also a little bit of a twist this time. Uh, as a thank you, we're working with OnePlus. We're giving away six OnePlus 6s. Stay tuned till the end of the video for more details on that. So, hey Shimon, nice to have you here. Thanks Ash. So how was your trip? Uh, pretty good. Flight was nice and uh, happy to be in Chennai for the first time in my life. Awesome. Glad to have you here. So let's just jump right into the questions. So this is the first one. This probably won't be answered either. But what would you say about the extremely thin stock of Bullets Wireless? You know there's a lot of demand and they're selling like hot samosas. But whenever they are in stock, they sell out in less than a minute. So what's the conspiracy? Why do you guys not want to sell? <laughs> yeah, why we don't want to sell product? Good question. So, yeah, obviously this is not as we planned it. Uh, we this is our first experiment, first time we are releasing uh, wireless headphones, mm -hmm. and like you guys might remember, like you may remember, remember for the first days of OnePlus, of OnePlus One, Two, Three, we had serious problems with stock invite system, invite system, and but we have learned over time how to manage stocks for smartphones. Mm -hmm. But this time we have just underestimated uh, demand from especially Indian market but even overall demand for first the wireless product and second our particular headphones so um, a month ago when we were uh, releasing the first batch and we have figured out that damn it sold out in 40 seconds and then we realized it, it didn't go as planned and, and we are doing our best to restock but the process is not as simple as just manufacture more it's complicated logistic chain so we're doing our best to, to fix the issue, but um, yeah, our mistake to not so, have released more in the first place. So realistically, when can we expect there to be more stocks? Like is it two months mm -hmm. from now, three months from now? Like when do we, do you have a rough approximate timing where we can expect to be able to buy these? Mm -hmm. So just on, on Monday, on 16th, we have uh, released uh, another batch and sold out as quickly as the first one. And mm -hmm. we're working on the on releasing the next one, but I cannot commit to date at this point. All right, fair enough. So guys, you can follow me on C4Redeck if he comments to anything off camera. I could let you guys know via Twitter. Okay, let's, let's at least get him to commit to this one, right? Mm -hmm. Will OnePlus 5 get Android P? Uh, we'll get Android P definitely, and um, so when, that's a commitment. That's a commitment. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but when we cannot say yet because the Google didn't release their timeline. We don't know when even Google will release the Android okay. P on their devices. But definitely shortly after Google does it uh, for Pixels, we will be with uh, Android P for OnePlus six, five, five T. Fair enough. Okay, here's a nice question. I really like this one. Why is the second camera not doing anything apart from depth sensing? It's not helping with low light as there was no difference in image quality when the second camera was covered with hand. Couldn't you have saved money and gone with a telephoto lens? Uh, so in other words, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sure. sorry. Uh, in other words, why would you remove that amazing, amazing, amazing second camera of the OnePlus 5, the one with the telephoto lens that I really, really like and go with this? Yeah, so even though maybe on the first glance it looks like it doesn't do much, then mm -hmm. we believe there on OnePlus 6, if it's with OnePlus 6, there are two main scenarios. The first one is portrait mode. We couldn't have ever captured portrait mode um, in, with this quality and this uh, kind of edge detection with just single camera. Mm -hmm. um, especially I recommend you guys uh, checking the new software we have just released on Tuesday uh, with much improved portrait mode taking even more uh, out of the hardware that we have there. Okay. Uh, and the second scenario, also very important for us, as speed is a theme for our devices, uh, is autofocus. We mm -hmm. can focus in 0.4 seconds because we are using both of the rear lenses to, to focus. Okay, but uh, at any point in the future, do you see OnePlus going back to uh, zoom there? I mean, a zoom secondary camera, optical zoom. Um, can you give me any answer, but I can't comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can. Uh, so never say never. And okay. uh, we will see, we'll see. We are uh, constantly tracking feedback from our community. Like you guys uh, know, we are very active uh, in gathering feedback from users and we are considering all sorts of possibilities for the secondary lens. And let's see what the future brings. 
Cool. And guys, what would you like to see? Would you like to see uh, the telephoto lens being brought back, or do you like the uh, the one that helps with autofocus? And didn't the telephoto lens also help with uh, edge reduction? Uh, it does, but with telephoto lens, you have different aperture, so mm -hmm. you have to kind of crop in from the portrait mode photo. So if you look at the normal photo and then you switch to portrait, your image in... is cropped from okay. all the sizes. Fair enough. So, what is it that you guys prefer? Let us know in the comments below. And let's move on to the next question on the list. Why did OnePlus, or rather OnePlus omit wireless charging on the OnePlus 6, despite having a glass pack? What's the conspiracy there? <laughs> There's absolutely no conspiracy there, actually. Uh, so, yeah, we believe just wireless charging is not ready for uh, consumer use. And we believe the solution is still not good enough and it's not even close to be good enough to, to be on OnePlus phones. So, uh, comparing to Dash Charge, where you can absolutely plug it in and in 15 minutes or half an hour have plenty of battery, it's not the case with wireless charging. And second thing, I personally believe it's more wired charging than wired, actual wired charging, because you have to keep your phone on the pod. You cannot play with your phone, you cannot even grab it in hand. Basically, you cannot use it when it's charging on the on the uh, pod for wireless charging. So for these two reasons, so so the usability and uh, fast and how, how actually not fast it is, we, we believe it's yet not time for wireless charging. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. So okay, moving on. Why isn't OnePlus launching a mid-segment phone around twenty thousand? OnePlus X wasn't a success, but why not try again? Uh, after all, it's never say never. Okay, I added that part. <laughs> uh, after all, the brands uh, are all about never settle, right? Plus, it'll still sell great in a price sensitive market like India. Ash answers, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. Uh, I've seen on Twitter that this was actually, absolutely one of the most popular. Yeah, questions. there were like at least like 20, 25 instances yeah. of this. Different variants of it. Some people wanted to know why not a 710 phone. Some wanted to know why not a OnePlus X2. Basically, the fact is. We want a 20, 15, 20, 000, uh, a phone in that segment with something like a Snapdragon 710, something to take on the, let's say, Mi A2 that comes out. Mm. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. And actually, uh, we have been considering this very strongly. I remember last year we have made very thoroughly research uh, in India, and we are thinking that maybe specifically for India we can do such thing. But after all, we realized that we, we are very good in making high-end smartphones and we believe that we are very good because we are very focused on it. We are not doing basically anything else, we are just doing a high-end smartphone and some accessories to it. And mm -hmm. uh, we just think that if we will do something else that we will end up what, like we ended up with OnePlus 2 and OnePlus X, so two not perfect devices while we are still not ready to, to release the, the second one. So, so we believe that at this point we will be focusing on a high-end smartphones at least till 2020 and mm -hmm. then we will see where we are and whether we are already ready to do something more or we should still keep focusing on what we are doing best. Fair enough. All right, so next one, why not launch all the colors at the same time so that we can buy our favorite color at launch? Anyhow, you're going to launch a new device after six months. They're making us wait, even then. So we wait, we wait for a color for three months, get the, get the phone. And then within two months, we start seeing rumors of the next T phone coming out. So why are you making us wait? Yeah, we heard a lot of feedback like that after OnePlus 5T and the uh, variants that it had. So this is why for the OnePlus 6 launch, yeah. <laughs> uh, we have released, uh, we have announced all the four colors at the very launch event here in India. So both three regular one and the uh, Avengers edition. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've only released one additional color since then, just recently launched a uh, red version. But even the white came out later, right? So we had to wait for the white. Yes, yeah, so it came out later, but we have announced all at the same time so that user had this uh, ab like possibility to just wait if they want to wait the extra two weeks for the white one because they really love that one. They they have the knowledge that it's, it's coming. And it's because the... Not all the development of not all the colors takes us same amount of time. Some colors are easier to develop. Some, like for example, the red one was definitely the most challenging one out of all to make the texture right, to make the color right. Uh, we wanted to put it some 
some special thing to it. We put the uh, amber polish, so if you look at you look at it from a different angle, it looks a little bit different in color. So uh, these things sometimes just take more time than we have initially planned, and this is why sometimes some colors come uh, later than uh, during the launch event. So it has nothing to do with keeping the hype up. Obviously, we want to keep our community excited. Definitely, that that that's obviously a case. But the primary scenario and the primary reason is that development time of, of different colors and different textures takes us different amount of times. Cool. So you just uh, mentioned about how different angles, different colors, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, will OnePlus in the future consider doing a double tone finish somewhere like a Aurora pack <laughs> or something like that? Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Is that something OnePlus? You use? I mean, do you see OnePlus doing something like that? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, even for OnePlus Six, uh, as glass gives us way more possibilities for colors and mm -hmm. textures and gradients, we were considering, I think, around forty different variants, mm -hmm. and some of those were gradient ones. But we were just like, finally, not fully satisfied. But in the future, who knows? Cool. OnePlus Six T thoughts. I'm thinking to buy a OnePlus Six now. Isn't the T version confusing? I think that some user um, takes our intentions wrongly for the T variants or for releasing phones from, for example, 3 to 3T, from 5 to 5T. Our intention is not for user to buy 3 and then spend another 30,000 to buy 3T. We just believe that our responsibility to user is to always provide them latest technology. So. For example, imagine you have OnePlus 2, you're a satisfied OnePlus user and you're looking for something new at January 2017. And you will not look into OnePlus 3, this is a device that is nine months old and there has already been some improvements in the market that you could select. Uh, and we believe that for our user, we should always provide the latest and greatest tech. So if there is some new improvements in tech that we could do, like for example with uh, 5T we did with the immersive screen, then why not? We should give our user possibility to buy those phones. And yeah. But with the 3D, you had a 10% boost in clock speeds with a better selfie camera and yes. a marginally bigger battery. I mean, obviously, this is uh, for you guys, for you to judge whether this improvement is important enough. In my opinion, it is, especially from, from 5 to, to 5T with the screen changes. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so here's uh, kind of spin off of this question. Mm -hmm. If somebody you know wanted to buy a phone today, mm -hmm. all right, uh, it's been what three months since the six launched. So would you suggest them to buy a OnePlus six, or would you ask them to wait for the sixty that's <laughs> around the corner? What would you do personally? Yeah, of course I would suggest to buy a OnePlus six. Absolutely. Okay, not wait for the sixty. I I don't know what the sixty, but uh, <laughs> no, I this is the most common question we get on Ash Answers. Do I buy this OnePlus phone or wait for the T? Or do I buy the T or wait for the next phone? It's always there because the first month there's a hype. People mm -hmm. want to buy it. Some people are waiting for the new color variants. But by the time that hype dies down a little bit, mm -hmm. everybody knows the next phone's around the corner. So what would you do? If you were asked this by a close friend of yours, dude, should I get the 6 today or wait for the 60? Yeah, I would, I would say... There's always a new phone coming, sooner or later, right? And it's only up to you in what kind of needs you are to, to buy new okay. OnePlus phone. If you remove the OnePlus 6 from the equation, which other OnePlus phone would be your favorite? Shimon answers. Ah, that's a good question. Pretty tough. I think... Uh, OnePlus 6? No, maybe not those. Um, but... Yeah, I think I have biggest sentiment to OnePlus One. I remember OnePlus waiting one. in line. I was not a OnePlus employee at the time. I mm -hmm. had to wait in line like everyone for I think seven months or so. So excitement was huge, hype was uh, in place, and yeah, I just loved the phone. I think it was like literally changing the way I think about smartphones. Especially I was shifting from maybe not to mention brand, but yeah, OnePlus not was not in the market at the time. So uh, yeah, the the. Bump in specs and in experience was huge for me, so I think that's that's the one I, I still love. So you are not a OnePlus employee then? No, I joined one after OnePlus 3 launch. So that one you also waited for an invite? Yeah, I had to wait for employee for OnePlus 1 and OnePlus 2. Okay. So for me, for me again, I would also go with the OnePlus 1, but it's a it's a close, uh, it's kind of close for me, but it's a, it's a toss up between the OnePlus 1 
because of course at that point uh, I was sitting and watching MKBHD's videos on it uh, and I was like what's this brand doing some people got the weird boxes uh, mm -hmm. initially and I was like okay is this vaporware is it really gonna happen and then I was kind of happy with the phone uh, when I started using it uh, but then the OnePlus X I know you guys look at it, I mean, uh, OnePlus don't, it, it doesn't rank high for OnePlus, but for me, mm -hmm. personally, I really liked it because I liked the idea of a real flagship chip. It was the 801 at that point, a really powerful chip on a 15K phone with a smaller display. Everybody, everybody were going with big displays and this was a compact, nice little phone mm -hmm. and it had micro SD, which OnePlus doesn't put on any other phones. I really liked that, it felt different hated the fact that the keys were in backlit but the compactness of the phone uh, and the fact that it had it had a ceramic back option mm -hmm. and come on dude just yeah. just 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 hear those people out <laughs> bring a oneplus x2 uh the phone was beautiful i don't i don't uh, demand it i sorry i don't uh what was the word <laughs> disagree. disagree with it uh why oneplus 6 didn't come with dual stereo speaker setup so this is a question that I wanted to ask as well, because if you look at it, it's not just OnePlus. Every brand seems to have be, uh, have an uh, issue with it. Like HMD Global did it with the Nokia 6, and then they didn't do it with any other phone after that. Uh, Xiaomi did it with the Mi 6, I think even with the Mi Note 3, but now the Mi 8 series doesn't have it. So mm -hmm. is there something uh, from a hardware perspective, is there a problem which is stopping brands from doing it? Mm -hmm. uh, what's the OnePlus take on it? Um, so yeah, we believe in balanced philosophy for, for design and be, if you would put a proper loudspeaker in top of the phone, mm -hmm. you would have to have a major bezel out there and that's um, that's the reason why we are not doing that. That's, uh, obviously we know that they are user that would really love that and would utilize it fully, um, but we also know that for a majority of our user, they very seldom even use loudspeaker. They still use headphones to listen to music or, or watch videos anyways. So, um, so that's confirmation that the headphone jack remains on the OnePlus 7. Can I take it as confirmation? <laughs> you can take it how you want it. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, the, the point is that still we, we believe it's a nice addition, but you always have to sacrifice something to put something else. And we believe that bezel-less design is more important than having a stereo speaker set up. Like a really proper stereo speaker. So do you guys agree with that? In the comments, let us know. So next, uh, can OnePlus 5T support portrait mode in the front camera from strictly a hardware perspective? Not asking you to release it now, just wondering if it's even possible. Uh, it is possible and uh, good news, it will be released to our user for OnePlus 5 and OnePlus 5T pretty soon. Awesome. So those are the questions that I picked from you guys. I have a few questions of my own that I'm gonna jump into right now. So uh, let's see. So first off, the, the T-series that comes out, mm -hmm. generally I see it coming out of the older firmware. Uh, if you look at it, it comes out of the same firmware that the, One Plus, the, the regular OnePlus phone launched mm -hmm. with. So the 5T came out of the same firmware as the 5, the 3T came out of the same firmware as the 3. Mm -hmm. uh, and here's my conspiracy theory on it. It's because you can still say we gave it two updates and the T-Series is actually coming out one version before. You just, that, that, that's what's happening. Don't you feel the T-Series, the T-Phones should have six months longer update cycle than the regular variant because it does come six months later. Uh, so it kind of works otherwise. So for example, for OnePlus 5T, because it's using the OnePlus 5 uh, software basically, because they're the same chipset, so mm -hmm. it doesn't uh, require a lot of adjustment tinkering. Then the OnePlus 5, we have the longer uh, support period than OnePlus 5T. So the 5T will still get two years and you're saying yes. the 5 will get two and a half? Yes. Fair so. enough. Uh, so and three and a half years of security patches. Uh, okay, this is another question that I've been seeing with uh, in general. So, what do you think about you know, people saying uh, with more ads, the pricing has been going up? Should you guys just stop running ads and uh, cut down prices, bring it down to one plus one levels or one plus two levels? Hmm. What do you think about this? Like, why are we seeing more one plus ads? What's the story behind it? Hmm. Uh, are we going to start seeing one plus banners everywhere? going forward, is it going to be Oppo, Vivo, OnePlus, uh, or is it 
where is OnePlus going with mm. all the ads? Is that why the price is going up? Uh, no, that's definitely not the case. So for us, in terms of investment, the product is still uh, is still the case. Price are rising from basically generation to generation, but that's not entirely up to us. That's uh, because how screens got ex more expensive, cameras got more expensive. Basically, the manufacturing process got more expensive. Also, the inflation takes uh, some part of it. But the question about advertising is, is interesting because uh, actually, I'm not a marketing person, I'm a product person, but I'm pretty sure that if you would see how much of the percentage of the price is advertising on the latest device comparing to, for example, two years ago, I'm pretty sure the percentage will be the same or even lower. It's because we are right now selling so much more phones than we used to sell years ago. Like, for example, OnePlus One, on, over the whole lifetime, we sold one million around. Okay. For OnePlus Six, we sold one million in 22 days only. So the difference is huge. And because of that, we are able to afford more advertising to- So you're basically saying the volume of sales kind of compensates for yeah. the increase in advertising costs. Exactly. You aren't passing on the cost to the end consumer. Exactly. And the amount we sell is also depending on the advertising that, that we are okay. uh, doing for our users. So, so the so. more you spend on advertising, the more the sales, the more the sales, you have more to spend on advertising. Yeah, so to, to pull it simply. Or something. Fair enough. Uh, okay, so now that we've seen the bullets wireless, if in case you guys haven't seen the review of it, here's a card. You can check it out. Uh, or here's a card, okay. Okay, whatever, there's a card somewhere. All right, just check it out. I wanted to add that as in India, yeah, we can see the our marketing uh, campaigns are uh, richer and, and more advanced than globally. Still, word of mouth is something that we rely on very strongly. And still comparing to other premium brands from our segment, uh, we are not doing even 5% of, of marketing as they are doing. And still, we are growing very strongly because we have very high satisfaction from our user and uh, because our user recommend the phone to their families, to their friends. And this is how OnePlus is, is spreading primarily. Marketing is uh, addition and some push to find uh, new user groups, but it's still not our priority in terms of expansion. Fair enough. And uh, now that the bullets wireless is out, When's the next? Uh, what other things are you gonna bring out? Are we gonna see a dash charge, power bank, or mm. uh, a wireless charger from OnePlus? <laughs> what are we gonna see next? Like, what's coming up? Yeah, so many people also ask me about the power bank. We tried something like that before, but uh, it's it's not actually something we are planning to continue at this point. Mm -hmm. um, but we have clearly seen that uh, bullet wireless demand was huge. So definitely there is something we have to address and, and let's see where it takes us in the future. But, but definitely we see there is a huge potential and huge demand from, from our users for that. So are we gonna be seeing other products? Is there gonna be an expansion? Like in terms of in the future, is OnePlus just gonna do one, uh, rather two phones a year? Uh, or is there, are we gonna be seeing OnePlus kind of more into uh, other, other different products like wireless headphones like if you see Xiaomi Xiaomi's got uh, cookers so do we when do we see a OnePlus pressure cooker okay that's a stupid <laughs> question but you guys get what I'm saying right like when do we see OnePlus do something else are we is that something on the pipeline is that something you guys want to do mm -hmm. so you know in terms of ideas we have plenty of but many users ask me same question, like, where are you guys really seeing, I don't know, smartwatch, tablet, drone, whatever, PC. You guys do such a great smartphones, why can you not do, fix the smartwatch, for example? Like, there's not nothing interesting in the market. But like I told you before, I believe we are good at making uh, high-end smartphones because we focus only on that. And I'm pretty sure if you would start making uh, pressure cookers or, or whatever, then at some point we will just, uh, you know, diversify our focus too much and stop being good at anything. So. Um, this is why we are still focusing on high-end smartphones plus some accessories. And the accessories range is changing and modifying with every couple of months, every new phone release. So there are some surprises probably coming, but I would not expect new categories of products. Okay. So here's the big question, the one everybody's been waiting for. So what's with the whole OnePlus and Oppo relationship? So OnePlus phones are manufactured by Oppo. Oppo in India, mm -hmm. uh, we've seen that on the boxes, and uh, uh, you're all BBK is the common link. Uh, Oppo, Vivo, OnePlus. 
So what's it? I mean, do you guys actually work together? Is it like the same software team? Mm. Okay, that's an exaggeration. But what's the link there? I just wanna, you know, we've spoken about it a lot. You know, you know, guys, you know me. We've had this conversation a lot. I just want somebody from OnePlus to give us some perspective, and maybe we'll get somebody from Oppo and Vivo to come in and give their perspectives and in, in the future. But Shimon, what do what do you what do you say? What's that? What's happening? Yeah, so uh, like you mentioned, Oppo and Vivo are owned by BBK, mm -hmm. and BBK is investor in OnePlus, but by any means, we are not the same company. We are good partners. Like mm -hmm. you mentioned, we are uh, manufacturing in Oppo plants in mm -hmm. uh, in India, uh, but it doesn't mean we are same company. And uh, and for example, like mentioned, software is totally different departments, mm -hmm. hardware. But you've used Oppo so software in the past, right? Like for the first OnePlus One in China, it came out with ColorOS. In China, yes, but that was just for, for OnePlus One when mm -hmm. we use uh, Cyanogen globally and we had nothing to put to Chinese version, so we use uh, we partner with with Oppo for that. But uh, even then, we already established our own software team to work on uh, our own software. So, do we see any more partnerships there, like with Oppo or any other brands, like uh, like Coolpad and the Ecodida collaboration <laughs> in the past? We we constantly partner with so many <laughs> companies all the time. Uh, Oppo uh, being one of them, mm -hmm. as BBK being one of them, but mm -hmm. uh, we have many partners both for software and, and hardware. We have uh, cameras from Sony, we have screens for Samsung and such. I don't know, that's how you give politically correct answers to a really difficult question. Okay, so here's some questions that I didn't totally prepare for. I'm just going to ask him what was on the top of my head. So what brands do you see as competition? Who do you see as competition right now? Um, we believe for us the competition are all the other premium brands. So here, like I, we we see in India, especially many of them, it's kind of out of business. You don't see much of LG or Sony anymore. But still, there's Samsung and Apple. Looking at our uh, premium segment, so we we are making this research every quarter, getting data from Contact, contact Point, and. 95% of market is OnePlus plus Apple plus Samsung in terms of premium segment. So uh, clearly Apple and Samsung is our primary competition here in India. So what, what about phones like the Zenfone 5C and the Honor 10? Do you not see that as competition to the OnePlus 6? What do, you, what do you think about these brands? Like about these phones, the pricing, uh, what, do you, what do you feel? Mm. Yeah, I think it's always uh, good to see something fresh, something new into the market. And um, let's see how they do. I believe we have to be humble. We have to look at everyone and uh, we have to hear from our users what they uh, think about our competitors, uh, learn from it and um, improve our products definitely. But uh, let's see how they do uh, in the market. And talking about his products, six one plus six is we're giving that away today. So guys, this time it's again an India only giveaway because I'm working with a, uh, with a brand on it. Uh, so as always, it's pretty simple to enter. There'll be a link in the description below. Head on over to the clean page uh, and you just need to be subscribed to C4D Tech for it. There are additional options which are pretty self-explanatory if you wanna improve your chances. And this giveaway runs for a month. Again, I'm not sure on the dates. Uh, I will let you guys know in the description below. Do check that out. So I guess that's it. Thank you for thanks being so here, Shimon. Uh, and thanks a lot for your time, guys. If you hated the video, if you, uh, I don't know, hated the video, if you don't like OnePlus phones or something, uh, you can, i leave Shimon's Twitter handle in the description. You can direct it at him. But for this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon and do all that. Uh, and uh, if you could, okay, you guys let me know, would you like seeing more people on the show? Would you like me to get somebody else on the show? Uh, and again, let me know in the comments, all your thoughts and everything. So I guess that's it. It's time I bid you adieu. Uh, thank you again for being here. Thanks a lot. Until next time. My name's Ash, you've been watching C4E Tech. I'm signing off. You guys have a great day. See ya. So guys, OnePlus 60, you heard it here first. You're gonna have a different color on the edges and you're gonna have a camera that pops up and it's gonna be priced cheaper than the OnePlus 6. Can this go in the final cut? <laughs> Absolutely, just quote <laughs> Ash on it, not me. Yeah, it's Ash answers, so it's like hashtag Ash answers.